Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This is going to be part two of the uh, Ghost Gimbal adaptation to the 3DR Solo. So, what I want to share with you guys a, a couple things in this episode. First, I'm going to flip this over. And uh, what I've done is uh, the first piece is I've stripped back this HDMI cable. Now, this uh, affair core here, uh, this is rather interesting. I was able to peel the um, outside away from it, just plastic. And the idea is, is this is uh, supposed to you know, help with the EMI um, in that. But the, the interesting thing is this must have been put on the cable before the ends were because usually they are crimped on and this doesn't have a seam to pry it off. So I'm going to probably have to take a Dremel grinder to it and uh, cut it in half if I want to get it off. I'm going to need to see... The other thing is, I didn't pick up a huge amount of flexibility. As you can see, this is a braided cable underneath this plastic, uh, which I cut off. So uh, it's a little bit more flexible. Well, actually, it's quite a bit more flexible because you can see how rigid this uh, plastic stuff is. But I still don't think it's going to be flexible enough for the gimbal. So if I want a gimbal, I might have to forego FPV, but we'll have to see. Uh, the other piece I did is I went on to the 3DR uh, development site and looked at the pinouts for this. So uh, the black and red were, as I suspected, basically battery connections. So this is supposed to be able to handle, I think, up to 3 amps or so. Um, and then the yellow is 5 volts, I think, up to 1 amp. And then you have uh, some MAV signal for the gimbal. And then you also have a USB 2 connection to the camera. And so we're not going to use those. I'm just using the power, and I've kept the Molex connector here intact and just added a JT connector, which matches up with the uh, gimbal. Now, I'm still <laughs> kind of working through perfecting this faceplate to hold it on. I've come up with a couple iterations. It's kind of hard to get everything, figuring out where everything aligns up um, because my typical tricks with kind of uh, scanning and everything did not really work out as I expected. Um, but I'm getting closer, so I just need to really adjust these holes a little bit because the camera kind of, uh, the way it sits in here is a little bit odd. But uh, this definitely holds it very solid. It's not coming out of there. And I also what I'm doing is working to adapt this so I can put the filter on. So this is going to have to actually be big enough to accommodate the filter ring. But all in all, for experimental purposes, it's, it's going pretty well. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount this on the bay of the... Uh, 3DR and we'll come we'll power it up and take a look to see how it works so uh, let's go ahead and do a time lapse of the assembly okay so we're back we have it assembled so I'm gonna go ahead and power up the solo and we're powering up the solo. Now we're powering up the solo. And there you see the the gimbal. And uh, hopefully I'm getting this on the uh, iPhone. Now, it tends to want to tip up a bit, I think, as you're seeing in the um, overlay. And I haven't quite figured that out. What I'm going to need to do is, uh, is developing a twitch, too. I'm going to have to connect this to um, and, and probably reprogram the this, this Storm 32-bit controller a little bit. Because you can see how crazy it's going. I think part of it is doing maybe with the balance of the camera and how it's, it's being driven. Uh, because one of the things... Um, as you see, it kind of got really weirded out there. Uh, I want to power this down. There we go. So if I bring this, because you can see how the camera is wanting to tip down, this isn't balanced very well because I have the battery now at the top and it's pulling it down because the camera is upside down. Um, let's re-energize this with me holding the camera like this. And you can see it kind of goes, but then it kind of uh, gets a little bit lost here after a bit. So again, in the, in a, the next episode, I'm going to connect this to, um, I think it's base or something like that. I can't remember, the 32, the Storm 32 programmer. But anyways, as you can see, it all fits 
and it actually uh, works in here and you can power it up and again this is being powered by the same gimbal power in this I simply need to adjust the Storm 32 or at least I hope I can uh, adjust it so it stops this uh, bit of nonsense here but anyways just wanted to do a brief video to kind of share with you a little bit of the electronics what to expect in that HDMI cable um, that it mechanically does fit and um, you know even if I've got to reflash the controller with the Storm 32 I, I think I can get this to work yet even though as you see it's acting a little crazy and then I want to work out a little bit more because I've come up with a couple of these. Now I am going to have to 3D print these face plates because they're going to need an edge like this and it's just probably easier to machining. It's, it's resilient enough that I don't think I'll have a problem with it. I just have to work out the different versions as you see here now. It's sort of <laughs> uh, cockeyed itself. But anyways, um, this is actually going pretty good. And I'm surprised at the fit and, and again the, the motion. You, you, I, 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 I think I'm still getting the camera over here. Uh, the motion still does work out pretty good with it dampening, so I know the base concepts there. So anyways, uh, just wanted to update you guys on this, so if you have a um, you know, 3DR, you can do something like this. I, I may also try another version with just a regular two-axis gimbal also, but uh, we'll see. So anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. Hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to comment below. You know, have you done one of these or something like this? Have you ad adapted a gimbal? Uh, or have you messed around with the ghost gimbal uh, any, any bit? And maybe have some tips. Anyways, cheers. See you guys in the next video.